Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. We just woke up, so the voice is a little raspy. But in the last episode, we finally bought the sigil of the ninja. We spent a pretty penny for it, 116.5 million to be exact. And in today's episode, it is time to put the sigil to the test and see how good it actually is. But first, I'm gonna be fishing for a little bit and working on my alternate account, which is currently extremely close to the max bracket. I've just been AFKing here and this has been the part of my plan. However, right as I hit level 111, I have a lot better plans on this account. But yeah, these are the stats. You basically just go for 88, 88, 88 across the board and that should be about 111 combat, maybe I'll need another level here and there. And I've just been using Feral Fighter Devotion and every now and then you get a tier five and every now and then you get a sigil. And I've been using that to stockpile on my dragon scimitars and then put them in the deposit box. I have probably died for 15 plus dragon scimitars on this account, but you know what? Devs do not count when you are in multi. So. That account is gonna be grinding away in dangerous areas for now and my main is just gonna be fishing for a moment while I wake up and then we go crazy. Okay, we're gonna try this even though I got like so turbo scouted that uh, there is no way this works, but... It's not like I'm risking much, right? Two million, very budget gear, just void, rune arrows even. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I don't have rope. Oh, <laughs> this is already a disaster, by the way. Uh, yeah, I can't even get in. Okay, this might be a very short clip because I have a very high suspicion that we are not gonna make it out of here alive or out of here at all because, well, multi, super dangerous, clans usually lock this down, however, I just wanna give it a shot. Maybe I can sneak in a kill or two, maybe a few, you know, you never know. Also, I have no idea how easy or hard soloing this will be but as long as there's no dots here i'm just gonna send it in and see what happens seems like there is nobody here right now room seems empty maybe we are uh, we're lucky and i can actually do this i got ecumenical key so i don't even need to kill the birds so i should be able to attempt my first kill here let's see how this goes just without the bow okay so that is very slow so if i'm using last recall i'm thinking i cannot afford to run titanium because i never hit uh, frozen keepies. Okay, we also get a bunch of points by doing that. I used to always do the Curiara and all the God Wars bosses with my CC back in the day in the last Deadman modes. However, doing it solo right now uh, feels a bit weird. But even Titanium, it's actually not that bad. Also, I wonder if the KC here stays or not. Dragon Bolts, not a good drop. Black Dehide Body, not good. There we go. Coins. Okay, there is a lot of things to change, uh, but we got four kill counts so far. Nice. My first change is gonna be to get rid of titanium and run precision. Now, I should not be hitting this many zeros now with this rune. I do want last recall, obviously, to get right back into the action, but I will also need to check how it is with ecumenical keys, because if I need to kill 40 aviances before I go in, it's gonna be a bit of a process, and then maybe I need a little bit of a faster range weapon to get my kill count quickly. Myth grapple obviously is an escape, arm my legs with my cape obviously is an escape, and we'll see how it goes this time around. Come on, I have precision now, it should be better. Um, where's my hits? There we go. We got some coins. Dragonstone bolts, not the best. Mm, some dwarf seeds, not the best. Okay, we get some grimy dwarf weed in this one. Unlucky. I will use the first arma drops if I get this uncontested to just keep slowly improving on my gear. I think first upgrade would be rigor, second upgrade would be better boots, better ring, lots of stuff I could improve. There it is, finally. This time we get some rune arrows, not the best. Rune crossbow, not ideal. Okay. That was sketchy because people found me. Fuck. Welcome to immunity man mode. We are completely naked and killing some orcs and we'll do it for an hour and then figure out where to go from there. We now have piety on the account and all right stats. Only gonna do this for an hour and then the best part is I can trade between both of my accounts now. So I have all these different options uh, where I can do all the 
cool stuff now basically on two accounts and I can get rare drops and I can get everything exciting and I can get a million blighted manta rays for example. So yeah, looking forward to this account, see what we can cook up with it. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Okay, let's see if my kill count goes down as I enter this. Oh, it does. But it stays if I recall back in. Okay, so that's not the most fun, but I think we can play with it. Okay, so let's see if our hits are a bit better now. I ditched the whole void idea and it seems like I'm already hitting a ton more, which is good sign, very good sign. Obviously, I'll be upgrading this as we go, but look how much more I hit. So Void was unfortunately a bit bait on this boss and hopefully we can maintain decent kill trips here. There it is. Room crossbow in this one. Some dwarf wins this time around. Bro, this is scary when people come outside. I'm so gonna die. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm so fucked. If they actually hit me, like, I'm so screwed. I might actually do the quest so I can TP here better. Or actually, who knows, maybe it's already unlocked with all the auto completions. Come on, game, give me a little luck here. Because I just got scouted. And let me deep in peace. This would be so much better with at least one more account. Black Dehyde body, that is not it. Some dragon stones, okay. All right, well, this trip is over. We're gonna try going back to Titanium and see how that feels. We have one more hour till the next breach, so we have a little bit of time to kill. Okay, so we are trying another one with Titanium right now and just to see if we can do a longer trip. This time we are doing it without Void, but with Hides. I was contemplating unlocking Aviances as a Slayer task and then just assigning myself a Slayer task. With a Slayer Helm, this should be a lot easier. But we will see how this goes, and uh, maybe I'll keep assigning myself tasks. Maybe that's the better option. Okay, getting some okay hits, though. And it definitely feels like Titanium is better than Precision, because with Precision, I was getting absolutely destroyed. With Titanium, sure, I hit a lot of zeros, but when I hit, I hit, and I don't take that much damage. So, probably gonna stick to this. There we go. Dwarf Weed Seed, not very good. Mind Runes, not a good drop. Opa, God's Recharged 2 of Abidian. First God Wars drop for us. We'll take it. Some coins in this one, not ideal. Coins again. Some Rune Arrows. Okay, we got some Ranging Pods. Bleach in 30 minutes. Do -do 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 -do. Connor Duradel and Steven Cheldar are now going to be able to assign aviances as your task. We are going to take this and I can take about two tasks it seems. So if I right click assignment now that my slaughter is active, I'm still hunting four blood welds. Right, let me <laughs> fix the situation real quick. Okay, so now that that is done, the game should let me to assign aviances. 151 should be cool and that's also gonna be our ticket to 99 Slayer. Okay, this is the worst one to get, boys. Uh-oh, we dying tonight, let me tell you. Luckily, made the mind altar, have the mind talisman ready. Let's see how this one goes, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> Not the best start because all these mobs are high def defense. But maybe I still get this one, you know, I did deal a lot of damage to it. Yeah. First kill, first trinket, you already know the rules. DMM Mika, advanced trinket. And emblem, yes sir. That means it is time to bank, uh, because I forgot a looting bag, and also because we have a lot of money on us already. I need to take different strategies depending on what time of day it is. I feel like for n right now, which is 9 p.m. peak, I should be doing ninja with bolting with precision, okay? Because ruby bolt specs and hoping you hit would probably be better. And then at 3 a.m. I should do scythe, because I always get crazy MVPs at 3 a.m. Uh, oh, that was a free-for-all drop that I missed. Maybe? Ah, uh, that was a free-for-all drop. Progged, but I think a little too late. Nah, never mind, we got it. Nice. Maybe jelly? Not quite. Oh, never mind, I got it. Okay, we take those. Another emblem, boys. Oh, Zuriel Staff! 
Zuriel Steph. Oh, kurva. We got it. Oh, yo, no way. That is amazing. We'll, we'll use this in the very final moments. This is an absolutely crazy item to get. Oh, beautiful. Look how many MVPs. And I was complaining. Ain't no way we got another. Oh, no, that was a spawn for everybody. That's it. Ooh, what a what a breach, boys. What a breach. Holy moly. That was sick. That was sick. So we're on 54,000. If I quickly go on high scores dude we're doing pretty well i'm currently rank 20 and we got some absolutely crazy drops as you can see i have some ropes in my inventory as i do this first trip i'm also going to unlock myself a sarah domain room i have the agility level required so we're gonna do that quickly and then we're gonna get 40 kill count which is gonna also take 40 kills down from the task, but I'm not going out to get ecumenical keys. Let's see if somebody's inside. I'm curious. People should really be doing this. I mean, the bridge just ended. What else is there to do? I say that and I'm probably awkward about much. Yeah, there it is. See what I'm saying? People. But now we have unlocked this area. If at some point we want to do it and we'll worry about the this at the correct time. Now, people might think I'm going for Zilly now, yeah? Because they saw me there. But not nah, 2 million genius IQ. We just run it right to here, which is where we actually want to be. So let's go ahead and grapple this one. And now once we made it over, I could keep these two in my inventory as a potential escape from PKers. But I feel like if somebody comes all the way here and if they get a hit on me, no grapple is going to save me. But I could try to have it on. So if I somehow manage to tank them, I don't know how, but somehow I'm tanking them, yeah? Then I could maybe tank all the way to Zami. That would be like my only hope, I feel like. But anyways, let's get 40 kill count. Let's get inside. It is time to begin. A little bit of aviances with a Slayer helmet. See how it goes. Oh yeah, and the best part is... We will probably be finishing 99 Slayer with this one, so that's gonna be fun. This makes me feel like having a blowpipe here would be great. But then I would have even more risk on me at all times, which is like extra 10 mil at that point. I would prefer to have a Suffering instead, which would help me much more. At that point, even an Archer's Ring would be better. So I guess we're just gonna have to tank it and kill 40 of this with the Magic Short Bow, which... Uh, maybe I underestimated how long this will take. I think this will take... Quite a little bit of time actually. I didn't realize I had two of the weapon trinkets uh, from the breach. I forgot to open them. Two again. Good. Scythe. Good. Nice little insta cell for 1.3 miller. So right now, Archer's Ring is so super affordable, only like 3 mil. I think because of that, it would make sense to sell. At least a scythe. Okay, my scythe sold. We now have 2.5 million. Let's see if I can get an archer's ring here. 2.5. Ho <laughs> ho Nice. Dwarf seeds on the kill count 22. I hope I can do this uninterrupted for a while. At least till I get like one big drop. That would be great. Now in an ideal world, I get 10 kills on trip, which means I can then come right back in. If that doesn't happen, I need to kill the small ones again. And that slows the process down by quite a lot. Dude, a kill this long will 100% drop an armadillo chest plate, right? <laughs> Another rune crossbow, bro. Nah, 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 guys. Dwarf seed. Come on, game. Rune arrow. Aha. Uh -huh. Scammed. Mm, nice. Ranging pots. That's pretty good. But looks like I can do 40 kill trips, though. Mm, Dragonstone. Come on, game, just one drop. More ranging pots. Wait, that worked? The fuck did I just do? I just fucking started cheating, but if I was barraging, bro. That worked, by the way. Huh? Sigil of Binding. First time I see this thing. So basically, here's the idea, right? So I don't target the boss until it's about there. Well, I got meleeed and now I do boom, boom. Kriara didn't take much damage though. So <laughs> maybe my cookery is uh, not working very well. There it is. Rune arrows. Oh, 
Oh yes, dude. Armadil chest plate, boys. The most expensive one. <sighs> that is exactly what we needed. That is the best item we could have gotten. The Armadil chest plate. Oh my. Dude, I don't believe it. To put it in perspective, how good this item actually is. It is currently going for oof, 30 million. Actually, 30 is kind of a cheap price, but I guess people are farming it. But 30 million. We can swap it maybe for rigor, which would be even better. <laughs> what is happening? I just got Sigil of Rampage on the Turbo Chill AFK account, bro. Sigil of Rampage, guys. Are you serious? How much is it? Oh, wait, it's only like 4 mil. No. I thought it was so much more. Oh, no. What? I was watching a fucking video like an idiot. I am not surviving this, huh? Alright, let's try though. This would be a sick tank if I make it out. That would be a crazy tank if I make it out. The only problem is, I don't have a SAD item. I hope they don't follow here. There is absolutely no way. I made it out? I made it out, bro. From multi. From a full-on fucking club. <laughs> What the fuck were they doing? I was watching Robert's video. A sigil of Rampage sold for exactly 3 million and now I'm able to fund this money to my main account through this account and then keep going out in the wild and keep hunting for the rare drops. I think it's pretty good to uh, get the farming up because here's why. If I get to 75, I can plant a magic tree in the gnome stronghold. And then I can AFK my woodcutting there with 5x results. And I can just make AFK money this way whenever I need to. And it's actually pretty solid. Okay, little run, 40 farming. Actually pretty good. Back in my natural habitat, Sigil of the Ruthless Ranger. You already know the drill. That's almost 2 mil, I think. There it is, 99 construction on Deadman mode. Beautiful. Yeah, Cape's gonna be really useful. I will just go ahead and start slow selling all the planks because I didn't do any calculations. The cost of these right now, house steps are like 5k each. So this just immediately pays for itself. I can left click it, it goes straight to the home. Okay, I can configure this to teleport differently. Uh, but yeah, that is absolutely OP. Why are they void vehicling me? Bro, they brought, I kid you not, look how many people they brought for my dragon scimitar. <laughs> Bro, what have I done, man? Doing a little bit of barrows while waiting for the breach. Let's take a look. Nope, another chest. Nothing. Good luck. Oh, you guys don't understand. This is like the best thing I could have pulled. <laughs> There is no shot. I need to check how much that is, but <laughs> that is so good, by the way. Back to back. No. Nope. It's not the one. We got Gotham Wars. That's probably not very good, let me tell you. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. That is nice player bonus, can be good for God Wars bosses. I might actually end up uh, using that one. Oi, 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 oi. This is all good. What? <laughs> Dude, I got a full tank. I have Verax helm. Now I got a body and legs. Okay, last chest for now. Okay, okay, okay. Really good session today. Uh, as you guys know, I'm doing about 10 battles chests a day. I do want to cap out on 100 for points. So 10 a day takes the sanity away. Well, we got an emblem. That's mine 100%. Yeah. Oh, emblem. Nice. There's so much... Oi, oi, oi. 
Oh, I got a vengeance, by the way. I looted it. That's the first time I got to see. That's the global drop, by the way, that, that everybody sees. There was a lot of stuff in there, and I got the best drop. Quick fingers. I got bolted by a PKer, man. That is it. Okay, the moment of truth. 56,900. So I got from 54 to 56. Okay, the plan is to not waste Aviance's task and just do Aviance's, but to just get an ecumenical key and then go and finish my task. There is the ecumenical key. I think I'm good to go. I just need one. That was fast, but maybe I get two for the future as well. Sigil of Devotion. That one sells for a lot. Nice. Oh, there we go. And the boots as well. That's a three million on top. I'm still trying to get one more Eki key, but doesn't want to drop. Another pair of the boots. I'm just gonna dip here. Two extra mil plus devotion plus Eki key. Let's go finish our Eviancy task. I was going to go Eviancy's, but my blood shard bot. So now I'm thinking we send it in Inferno at night. Like nobody should be playing right now, but I'm tired. So I don't know if I can do it, but I'm just going to try it. See what happens. Bro, I don't know why I put myself through this at 6 a.m. Uh, but, I mean, we're wave 63. Lots of potions. I mean, I don't know if this is lots of potions. I haven't done fucking Inferno in three years. To be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. But it's kind of coming together, I think. We'll see. Okay, next up, Triple Jadaronovichowskis. I am nervous as fuck and I don't know if I have enough supplies because I'm so bad at this. to jet on my first attempt that's already pretty good now i need to do a research and a guide on to how to even do zuck i don't actually know okay well <clears throat> here goes nothing i guess i wish i'd blow pipe bro That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I have like no DPS. I mean, when the next set spawns, the shield dies, so... Like two Jad healers. Would be nice if I can kill him and get to the Zag healers. I couldn't, I couldn't. GG though, that was fun. I, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen, I actually tried my best, I'm not gonna lie. I might, I might be a little out of touch with the game, 
a little bit improvement on the gear and I think we got this, but I'll do it again once uh, I have rigor unlocked and for that that's gonna be the whole nother grind. I'm now permanently playing on 12 million risk, which is just not my favorite so to say, but I guess we're just gonna use it. That's gonna keep me healed up and uh, yeah, gonna go sleep. See you tomorrow. Good morning. We're waking up for the breach and before it starts we're also doing a little farm run up to 46. I want to get it up so I can AFK my wood cutting and actually get some good logs in the process. That's literally the only reason why I'm doing this. If I get 60 I'll plant you and then if I get whatever ne next is I'm gonna go ahead and plant magic. Our first willow. Decent XP up to 48. Okay, bridge is in one minute, testing new things today, formidable feral consistency, super random, but I prioritize it over something like ninja, because when feral procs and then I get formidable consistency, some fast swipes with big damage, it's pretty solid. Uh, also at the breaches, I'm camping prey melee, I'm not really switching much of it, because there's combos with like claws that can just one tick you, and we get morrigan jabs off the bat. Oh, we got an emblem. Let's go. Oh, we got another one. Oh, we're getting lucky lucky. Another one. Oh, yeah, this might be a really insane combo, by the way. The only time I really range prey, did I just get another one? Okay, we're banking. Four emblems, 300k. Let's get back. Another emblem. I just come back and I just collect these emblems. I might be onto some relic combo that's absolutely illegal, by the way. That is unlucky as fuck, by the way. Big Air jumps me as Kuriara hits me like a fucking 50. Holy shit. But luckily when Kuriara hits you, you can spend TP and you can get out like this. That is scary though. <laughs> that is the not having titanium there going to effect. Opa, another emblem. Oh, that was a drop for everybody. Didn't get that trinket. Yeah, told you. Easy peasy. Dude, I'm getting so... I think it's the most MVP I've gotten in all the breaches. And it has to be the sigil combination. It cannot be coincidence, right? That's it. Okay, pick air on me and the hider. See what happens. Oh, we're out. Okay, I don't know if he was like cooking or if he misclicked me, but we are out and that was quite a phenomenal breach, so to say. Emblem situation, all the way up to 16. A little change of scenery on my alternate account and it seems like we just got Trinket of the Undead, which should be about a mil right now, so that's a nice drop. The Morrigan Javelins actually sell for 3.2 million, which is a bit of a crazy one. My last recall remembers a fucking Godward's escape, so I can just go there super fast now. What the fuck? I didn't think that's how it was gonna work. So if I just unattune it and put it in the bank, it actually remembers where I last teleported from. There's no shot, right? Why is that guy just chilling there, man? That's such a scout. I'm risking a bit, but it's not like the end of the world type risk, so... Okay, starting off with some coins. No. Ah, why did I brew, man? Come on. Just give me one more drop. That's all I want. One more drop and we're good. That was a nice kill. For a black dehyde body. That's not it. More coins on KC39. That was a fast kill. Oh, kurva, we got Arma Hilt. Oh, yo!